here we are back at the church project. We're getting our base in, two inch, three quarter inch stone. We're actually starting to form these up. Now that we've got all of our columns set, we're gonna get these concrete forms formed and then start pouring these. This is a great cross section of our concrete forms here. You can see we have two by 12s that we're gonna be pouring with concrete. This is where our sitting wall is gonna sit. We have our sauna tubes in here. This is where the pergola is gonna sit. And the reason why we are pouring a concrete form for our walls is so that when we pour our concrete footings for our pergolas, this and the sitting wall concrete will move at the same rate. If we weren't to do that and we just had our columns poured in concrete and our sitting walls butting that, these would move differently than the columns and you'd see imperfections in your wall. We're putting three quarter inch stone underneath these forms to allow for water to fill up and not be affected by the frost heave cycle. So in doing your form work, you can use either two by four, two by three, even any wood stake would work to nail down into the side. And that's gonna use, be able to screw through this into your forms and you'll set your height with your laser on top of that. You can also use a steel stake like this one here, uh, which is excellent for form work because they have holes in it. It's a little bit stronger. And when you drive it down into the ground, it's a little bit easier than driving one of these. This here will be a little bit stronger in the ground when you're screwing your forms to it, but this one will make it a lot easier to work with. Inside of these forms, we're gonna be using this wire mesh. This here is a six by six by six wire mesh gauged uh, steel, and this will reinforce the concrete. We'll also put in some rebar and tie that to this wire mesh going down into each one of those columns. So in this corner, when they backfilled the foundation, probably wasn't compacted properly. So we're doing some two inch stone in here to firm it up. As I walk on it, it's like jello. So we're gonna use a stabilization fabric, put that in. We're gonna put some two inch stone on top of this, another roll of fabric, and then three quarter. That'll firm up this area nicely. 